Ciao, mi chiamo Chef Uspaldo. <coughs> Sorry, that wasn't my voice. So today, this week's challenge and theme is to cook like crazy and to talk like an Italian or chef. So let's get started. The first thing you must do is put an egg to the little bowl thingy. After that, you need another egg that you must put in the bowl. After that egg is in the bowl, you can bring the bowl and check out your study. The egg is in the bowl, as you can tell, sort of. And why is that crazy girl running? So after you have the egg, as you can see right here, in the bowl, squish it with your hand, like this. Squish and squish until the egg is super squish. The next thing you need is flour. You grab it with your hand, like this, and you're supposed to take off your glasses first. After that, you put it in your face, like this. You must feel the flour. I'm feeling the flour too much. But you must do this in order for the cheesecake to come out good. After that, you may place the flour inside the, the bowl, like this. And after that, so you will not bleed blind like I am right now, you may put your glasses on. After that, you must pour the cheese with the big jug inside the little bowl. So you put some oil inside the cheese thingy. Like I'm making a red velvet cheesecake, you must add some food coloring. Like this one, the chismosa sauce. I mean chamoy sauce. After that, you must pour the chamoy sauce inside the bowl. As much as you want to. The more, the better. And you mix it. You must pour a little sip of lemon to sour it up a little bit. So you squish the lemon inside. Mix it again with your hand. After that, the, and the mix is mixed correctly. You might, you must mix it with this thingy, which I don't recall what it's called. So you mix it until it's like rotten blood. Even if you drop it in your shoe, you still continue. After that, you must pour it in the little pan thingy. This little metal pan. You pour it inside. Even though it looks so delicious, it's gonna be perfection. After that's done, you must put it in the oven. You can put your hand if you want to in it too. But I recommend not to put it on. One thing that I forgot before I put this was to preheat the oven. You preheat it to 350 right there in the little thingy. Once it's 350, you may push the start button. After that, I put the little cheesecake inside. While we wait, you might need to get some frosting free to try it. Very delicious. Now I'm gonna show you the last product. After the cheesecake is done, after the three seconds that we're done and all that, you can take out the cheesecake one bite and keep it food to the little baby. Before I eat this cheesecake, I have to answer the question for Chef Dee. Created last Sunday or this past Sunday, his question was: If you had a wish, what would it be? My wish would be to have more cheesecakes like these. These is like the best cheesecake ever. You can see the red texture in the chocolate in the side that we added with the frosting. And if you ever want to make any other kind of cheesecake, just make sure to leave a comment below, and I'll give you the recipe, the secret ingredient. And thank you for watching Collab Like Pro. Tomorrow you have your Tuesday. And hasta la vista.